hello fat grandma here well this is my second video this week that isn't related to, to my sales well it is but this item in question would have been something I would have talked about on Sunday uh, but there's been a situation that has arisen and uh, I wanted to talk about it while it's still all fresh in my mind and this is probably going to be part one of two or three parts I don't know how this is going to end up getting resolved or what's going to happen but um, anyway so back in September if you've been around for any length of time I had a situation with Mercari that made me uh, remove my listings and um, I purchased a wallet and I was trying to match the color of my handbag which is kind of a gunmetal it's a coach bag that I got in an auction for super cheap I think I paid 10 or 15 dollars for it anyway I wanted to find a wallet that would match and uh, and I found one that I thought matched the color on Mercari ordered it it got here and it was black it was not the same gunmetal it wasn't even close and so I filed a return I took photos I sent the photos in and it was a matter of minutes and Mercari accepted my return request and well that's great if you're a buyer um, if you're a seller and this is what made me remove my listings that I had on Mercari if you're a seller you know how do there's no proof that it was the wrong color I mean I had proof and I had uploaded proof but I knew that no human eyeballs had looked at those photos it was just something in Mercari's system that since I uploaded photos it automatically gave me a refund you know and then it you know then it said I didn't have to return the item and I was like well, that's just way messed up you know First of all, I don't have to return the item. Secondly, they gave me a refund without even looking at my proof that it was the wrong color, you know. And so I was not comfortable with selling on Mercari at that point. So I removed my listings, just kept up with eBay, started on Poshmark, and that's how I've been doing things. Well, lately I've seen a lot of sellers talking about, you know, getting decent sales on Mercari, and I was like, maybe I'll go ahead and give it another shot. Well that may turn out to have been a mistake I don't know um, and again that's why I'm doing this because I want to keep track of what's happening with this sale recently I had an auction lot where I picked up another Nene Thomas uh, ferry and I've sold a number of them that were from my personal collection and uh, so I knew what it was uh, no one else bid on it, and I think I got it for five or ten dollars, um, which is nothing. And so, anyway, I listed it on eBay and Poshmark and Mercari. Had it cross-listed everywhere. Um, it was being ignored on eBay. People were watching it, but no one was making any offers. I think I had one watcher on Poshmark, and it didn't take very long. And someone made me an offer, and they. I had it listed for 55 and they offered 50 and I was like great perfect you know um, it was in the original box with the original foam packaging that protects these things like nobody's business you know um, it, it's almost impossible to damage one of these unless the box actually gets crushed do you know what I mean like someone would have to drive over the box for this thing to get damaged and so you know, I shipped it off. I shipped it priority. My my mistake was not shipping it with a Mercari shipping label because then I would have buyer protect or seller protection or whatever it is. Um, we're up to I think up to two hundred dollars if something's damaged in shipping. Mercari will you know cover it or whatever. So I think I think that's how it works. I've read some stuff so. I did not use the Mercari label because the shipping was going to be a lot more expensive for me and I was including shipping in the price you know so it wasn't that bad I went through pirate ship and it shipped priority so I am covered through the post office you know because um, there's insurance on the on the sh on the um, shipment so 
Anyway, I shipped the item out. Um, it got there in three days. And within, I got the email saying the item had arrived, that the person had received it. Within 15 minutes, I got an email from Mercari saying that there was a request for a return, that the item was damaged. And I'm like, okay, what the F, you know? So um, before I even had a chance, seven minutes went by, you know, and I hadn't looked at the email yet. The email said that I could go in and review the return request. I assumed that there would be photos that the buyer took and uploaded, you know, to, to start to initiate the request. And um, before I even had a chance to look at that, I got another email saying that Macari had authorized the return or the refund, you know, the, the refund request for the item. Then they asked me if I wanted the item back, and I'm like, uh, yeah, you know. So, um, so they refunded the buyer before I even had a chance to look at what was going on. Then I could not find any photos anywhere that, like, if they got photos from this buyer, they did not make them accessible to me as a seller. I should be able to see those photos. I need those photos to file a claim with the post office. You know, when it comes back to me, um, that's another shipment and an entirely different claim if it gets further damaged, if it even was damaged to begin with, you know. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen with this, but um, now I'm waiting. You know, I'm now there's a note on this sale that says return in progress, you know. So, um, so they just authorized the return. I have no, no access to the photos. Anyway, then I go into their help section to see if I can contact someone at Mercari, you know, about getting the photos that the buyer supposedly uploaded, you know, for proof. And there's nowhere to request any photos. There's nowhere to get a hold of anybody unless you go through specific steps. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but there's specific questions you have to answer. And none of them pertain to a buyer getting a refund and the seller being able to view the photos, you know. So I went digging around online and found a customer service email address for Mercari, sent them an email and told them that I would like to see the photos that the buyer uploaded, that I have a hard time believing that this item was actually damaged because I shipped it in its original box with the foam, the styrofoam that it comes in originally. And that box was inside another box with bubble wrap and, and packing paper. Uh, I mean, somebody had to go out of their way to damage this if it actually is damaged. And if it's not damaged, and this buyer just used that as the excuse, uploaded the photos, no one looked at them to see that, oh, it's not damaged. You know, um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I wanted to let you guys know that I may be pulling all my listings from Mercari again, you know, depending on how this plays out. Um not feeling real comfortable with them right now. And I did go in and all of my listings, I've only got 19 things listed with them right now, but I have some higher end items listed on the website that I'm a little nervous about now, but I changed all of the shipping to Mercari labels. So the seller protection will be in place, you know, and, um, Hopefully, if any of those items sell and something happens to one of them during shipment, I'll be covered. You know, I won't lose my, my money. Um, anyway, I just wanted to document this. This will be part one. I'll keep you guys updated, um, you know, as far as what happens and if I hear back from them. I just sent the email to Mercari this morning you know, after digging around trying to find an email address. And I did get a response. It was one of those automated responses, but I know it actually went to a mailbox because the response uh, said request received and it gave it a, a ticket support number. So I'm looking at it right now. Um, 
anyway, so I know someone will get that email. Um, I'll let you guys know what happens. Anyway, I'm I'm discouraged because that's 50 bucks, you know, that, well, I think it was $43 that was supposed to be my part of that sale. And now, depending on the condition of the item, I'm going to have to either fight with the post office or, um, you know, I am i don't know how this thing could have been damaged. I honestly don't know how this could have been damaged. I don't, you know, I don't, they had to have driven over the box. And the other thing that happened is I got an email from Mercari. I keep opening this in my inbox. Um, I got another one from them saying that, that the item... Let's see. Let me find this. Um, we reviewed your buyer's request, return request, and determined the item was damaged in transit. Since it isn't too damaged to send back, we're having your buyer return it to you using a prepaid label provided by Mercari. So the box is obviously not destroyed. You know, again, I want to see pictures. I want pictures. I want to see what the buyer is saying was damaged on this ferry because I just, I don't see it. You know, it's either it didn't really get damaged. Maybe they already had one that did get broken and they're using mine to replace it and they're going to send me back the broken one, which I wouldn't, you know, that happens. So um, in any case, I will still have proof for the post office and hopefully able to get my money back from them. We'll see what happens. But um, that is it. It's Friday. I hope you guys have a good weekend. And I will be back um, sooner if I hear something from Mikari. <laughs> sooner if I hear something from Mikari. If not, I'll be back on Monday evening or Tuesday morning with my solds video, which is going to be very short because I've only had three sales so far. So unless something happens over the weekend, it's not going to be a big video. Um, anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye.